It is a sparkling afternoon in Houston, Texas for today's Eastern Conference semifinals matchup between the Houston Dynamo and Sporting Kansas City. Garcia and Brad Davis that do so much to bring in these two guys up top. Kalen Carr with his speed stretching the defense and Will Bruin who has that scoring touch right now. So Pong sitting up high, holding the ball up and Kai Kamara has had a breakout season, the best he's played in MLS. And we'll get us underway. They went all the way last season to MLS Cup where they were beaten by the Los Angeles Galaxy in their trademark orange shirts. We're underway at BBVA Compass Stadium. Off it again. There's an excellent drive. Oh, what a goal! Well, I did warn you a few seconds ago. A right foot like a hammer from Adam Moffitt. What a way to get the scoring underway here. 1 0 to the Houston Dynamo. A rocket. Well, Adam Moffitt's the one who plays the ball in, but watch him follow the play as this ball comes back out. Takes a touch here. And this is a dream strike. Catches it off the half volley. And you can't hit a ball any purer than that. Look at that. Against the grain. Absolutely rifles this ball. Watch him catch it off the half bounce. Barely any spin to it. That's picture perfect. Kyle, the previous shot that he had, the volley, was excellent as well, wasn't it? That was heading for... Jimmy Nielsen's goal, it was blocked, it was a sweet strike, and then to do that on the half volley just moments later. Well, one of the well, reasons that's wonderful. he's so good from long distance is you watch how quiet his body is when he strikes the ball. That unfamiliar right wing position for the centre back, a wild swing and a miss from Collin. It's a challenge by Kalen Carr, and it's a goal kick. Looks like Kai Kamara back defending has taken a blow himself. Let's take a look at the challenge. Well, it looked like Kalen Carr was just coming in, and this is the whiff by Colin. But right here, it looks like he's just coming in to try to block the ball, and he actually doesn't make contact. It's because the ball hit so purely in that tackle that it looked like it tweaked the leg back of Kai Kamara. It was just such a pure challenge, and I think the brute force of it was what ended up putting Kai Kamara on the ground. And Kalen Carr's gone into the book here. Jurasevic has decided that... I don't know about that. Yeah. It looked like he got pure ball. The crowd don't like it. Kai Kamara's on his feet. Let's take another look here. I wonder if Kalen Carr's a little hard done by here. Well, he's coming in and, and look at the angle. He's not really taking the angle at Kai Kamara. I think he's just blocks that ball perfectly. He Carr. Garcia gets it back. Here comes the cross. Bruin! Oh, it was a chance. He snatched at him. Eight yards out. He had time, perhaps even to take a touch, and he knows it. Well, this is the part of his game he's worked on, is getting open and getting in those spots. Now he's got to get that ball on frame. Oh, it's a free kick given. Won by Kai Kamara. Kai Kamara and Roger Espinosa just having a little tete-a-tete -tete with each other. Let's take a look at why Will Bruin is shaking his head ruefully. Well, watch him get open. He's floating right now. No one's on him. He's just waiting for that moment to make that run. He's in a little bit early, so watch him come out, check out, and find that spot right at the penalty area, and just doesn't really get his feet right. You see him trying to take those small steps to make up for it. It's total goals over two legs. Peterson heads it straight to the goal scorer, Moffitt. Here's Peterson again, Susi. Excellent drive, it was terrifically defended as well. Jermaine Taylor. Stayed down, clutching that left knee. It was a vicious strike from Gray and Zusi. And he looks in some distress here. The Jamaican defender. And the trainer comes on. It will be a corner when we get back underway. There's Gray and Zusi. Take another look at it. Cannoned off the left knee by the looks of things of Jermaine Taylor. Still on the ground. And we're inside the final minute of the first 45. That's Cesar to the right hand side. Space for Myers. In it comes. Susie can make amends and he fails to do so. That's the best chance of the match for Sporting Kansas City. And they wanted to fall to the feet of Graham Zusi, but he couldn't take advantage. Well, you can see how many players are on this side of the field for Houston Dynamo. There's space on the far side if they can swing it. Zusi completely unmarked, and he's just trying to catch up with that ball. 
It's starting to float across to his left foot. He wants to get that right foot on it. See, the mantra. Is to play their own game. They don't know any other way. Zusi found this time. Sarkodi is going to be summoned over for a lecture here from Jurasevic. He's just telling Sinovic and Graham Zusi, I've spotted it. I've blown the whistle. Leave it to me from here on in. Well, what they're upset about is they feel Sarkoni got away with plenty, but not going to get away with this one. The yellow card comes out on that late challenge. And here's a look at it. Graham Zussi tiptoeing this near sideline. Great skill in this little cut right here. Sarkoni just reaches that foot out, catches him right across the laces. The intensity for the first 15 minutes, and they did it so well. There goes Carr. Can they double their advantage? Kalen Carr into the penalty area. They can! Will Bruin! Houston's hero of the postseason so far salutes the home fans. They are in control of the Eastern Conference semi-final. They lead by two goals to nil. Kalen Carr has been outstanding for this team lately, running the channels. Beautiful cut there. And Beasel can't fly out immediately. He had to go with the run, but look at Will Bruin. That's what I'm talking about, running off the ball. He's improved his game so much. So delay his run. Don't get in too early. Perfect ball back to him. And all he's got to do is get good contact on this, open up his hip, put it far post. Terrific finish. Perfect run. And the delivery's there, and that's 2-0. Huge, huge lead. A third goal of the playoffs for Will Bruin. His two against Chicago during the week. In the knockout game, sent Houston through to this Eastern Conference semi-final. Nicely worked out by Houston to Sarkozy. Sprints down the right-hand side. Ooh, now that's a big call. From my angle there, Carl, that was a definite corner kick. Yeah, it looked like the flight of that ball got changed. Joseph might have gotten a touch on it. Davis. Slides it through. Cam Weaver, Ching's at the near post. To the back post it goes, Ching with the acrobatics. And he didn't connect. He had Clark behind him, Garcia there as well. Scored the first ever goal at this stadium against DC United in May. The wind up and the shot, it's another good one from distance. Well, Weaver's looked at the boot, it's coming on. It's wide to the left-hand side of Jimmy Nielsen's goal. A throw-in into the Houston penalty area. Boswell didn't know where that went. Tally Hall slaps it clear. Beasley goes down in the penalty area. Peterson Joseph. Graham Zusi. Far post. Opportunity. And it's wide. Julio Cesar was lurking. Some nervy moments for the Houston Dynamo back line. This is a lovely little ball from Graham Zusi. Look at that far post run. Julio Cesar just reaching out for it. Weaver's in the penalty area. So is Jimmy Nielsen. That might be that. All eyes on Jurasevic. It's all over. We've reached the halfway point of the Eastern Conference.